Today we're going to take a look at two knives from Senkai and see if they compare favorably against my favorite knife from this brand already. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we dive into knives, who the heck is Suncut anyway? So Suncut kind of falls within the Wii Knife, Civivi, Suncut trio, okay? They, so they have Suncut down at the bottom with budget knives, you got Civivi somewhere in the middle, and then you got Wii all the way up here, all the way to the top, okay? That's kind of the way they've positioned themselves. That's important context as we move forward, because we're going to talk a little bit about the direction of Senkut in this video and where they probably should end up. So I'm going to give my opinions, but I'm going to focus first on the knives. So this is the one that in the past has been my favorite. It has multiple forms of deployment, an excellent button lock 9CR18 MOV, and it runs about $46 and change. Okay. Really good offering from Senkut. It has all the right features with proper jumping around the flipper tab, very good ergonomics, micarta handles, Everything we would expect, right? So the big difference between this and the Civivi line is if this wasn't a Civivi line, you wouldn't have the big marking on the blade. You would have a Civivi pivot color, right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the difference here. That's pretty much the difference you're getting between the two. So that that's the context. Now, we have two knives, starting with the Serene. So I'm going to move these out of the way for the time being. This is a surprise because it's actually the exact same price as this one, but it's completely aluminum handled, which is pretty amazing. Very, very comfortable. Not, not actually as slick as I would have expected. Once again, good a jimping on the flipper tab. And that blade is phenomenal. Nice and thin on this one. So definitely on the slicier side in comparison to the other knife. And the action is even better actually ridiculous how good this action is incredible um, this one without without even hesitating I will say that it's it's the better of the two um, there is no not even a, a little sliver of hesitation and it has to do mostly with the cutting geometry on this because of that full flat grind it just tapers out and gets a little thinner behind the edge and it has D2. This one is actually a black wash. It looks almost like a DLC coating, but it's actually black washed. Um, if I were to do this, if I really, I mean, I really wish they had DLC coated it because it is D2. It will rust, but the performance of D2 is definitely going to outperform 9CR18 MOV as a cutting tool. I'm coming around to enjoying D2. And the thing I know is that if it's made by the Wii Knife Co. and it's in D2, I know the heat treatment's on point. So that is huge. And um, yeah, sub $50 for both of these. Sub $50. So 46 something for those. So keep that in mind for a second. 46 something. All right. Now, we're going to talk about a new knife on the table that just came in. And this is called the Vesperion. And I actually have to say, um, I like this knife a lot. Okay. So... The thing I like so much about it, and I'm always looking at value as a factor, and I think it matters as a reviewer because I have to put myself in the shoes of everyone else who's buying a knife. Why is this knife important? Why should you consider this one over another? If it's not good value, how could I possibly recommend it? And what I'm starting to see from Senkut is that they are dropping the price points to be much more competitive with other knife brands with the combination of features. So we have G10 here. 9CR18 MOV, good finishing all the way around, good heat treatments, multiple deployment methods, right? We have a nice liner lock with excellent action. Very good. Absolutely can be reverse flicked. Thumb flick, no problem. And the flipper tab is perfect. D10 is spot on. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. All the things are executed well. But what's the price? What's the price? That was my thing. Like, so what's the price? Have they, have they learned their lesson yet? This particular one is coming in at $39.99. Now, that's pretty good. I'm not going to say. that. That's actually kind of at the top end of where I want this to be. And the reason I keep bringing this up. Now, this I will say, first of all, at $39.99, this is great. This is, this, is, this is good. And I like that. And I think that with the aluminum handles and the D2... What is this? Just under 50? I can buy that too. Here's the problem. Here's the rub. 
okay, this was send cut. The thing that they can't get out from under is the fact that Civivi, which is their sister brand, makes the Mini Praxis at $30. So $10 cheaper than this with, D, with D2, okay? And they make the Praxis at 42 which is cheaper than all of the other knives. So the problem I think that Senkut's running into is that they are actually directly competing with their own sister brand, and they're not coming out on top because one of the advantages you get with Civivi knives is you get a cleaner profile, you get the nice Civivi logo right there, and you don't have anything else on the blade. You know, look at how just how clean that that this this knife is at thirty dollars. I mean, it is really hard for Senkut to compete with its own sister brand right now, in large part because of the existence of these knives. And I don't want them to go away. I just think they need to find their niche in a way that complements and makes them different enough to justify it over another Civivi knife is what it comes down to. And, and I, think that, I think that the Vesperion is getting there because this has multiple forms of deployments. It has a reversible clip. I actually really like the blade length and the shape of the blade. I like this knife a lot. I think at 39, you actually are coming in below the, the Praxis. I like the ergonomics. I actually like the ergonomics on this one better because of the multiple. I hate the multiple finger thumb thing. It always gets in the way. So, yeah, the real question is, would I pick it over a Praxis? And if I'm ignoring the branding and combination, which is a little cleaner on, this, on the Civibi, I like the Sen Cut better. This is the first Sen Cut that I can say I would consider over the Praxis. Now, the Praxis has a very tall, very thin blade. This is a little bit, well, I don't know, it's pretty thin, but it, it, it definitely tapers up. So it's got a nice combination of features for a kind of a do everything kind of knife. So I don't know. It's going to depend, but at least we have a reasonable adjustment between the two. And I think that the Serene, being in the combination with the with the aluminum handles, which is more expensive, right? We have the button lock, all kind of blackened, which looks beautiful, and great ergonomics. Yeah, I think that these two knives, the new the new knives that they just came out with, they're starting to finally figure it out. They're starting to get there, but they got to make more knives between the twenty nine dollar range and the. $40 range. They got to stay out of the 40 to 50 because Savivi is going to kill them, right? Savivi is going to really like give, give people a reason like, why would I buy the send cut over the, you know what I'm saying? They have to stay between the 30 and the $40 range. They have to give me something great in that range. And this, this is great. The Serene is great. Yeah. That's probably my, my new winner for the lineup. Just the action is actually ridiculous. I have a bunch of... I mean, here's the thing. That action is better than the Civivi I'm currently carrying. That It's actually it's actually better. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Well, to be fair, they what they've clearly done, both because it is the same company, basically, they have improved on their button locks over time. So I'm I, seeing that is such a cool thing. I talked about it with the Cogent. The fact that all of the benefits that we Civivi gets are also being passed down to Sencut makes me want to buy a Sencut over other people, especially if it's in D2. I would much rather buy a Sencut with D2 than most other brands that don't have the uh, the reputation, right? So this is good stuff. This is good stuff from them. These two knives, excellent, I have to say. Really nice job from a send cut on this one. I, I don't know if it's straight up better than this because I do like 9CR in that it's not as corrosion, corrosion uh, um, not as much subject to corrosion. Let me just say it that way. Um, and I do like the blade shape on this one as well. But you know what? The Serene, I have to say, I have to say, you know what? It, it gives me the vibes of one of my favorite Civivi knives, which is the Cubit. I don't know why, but it just has that just has somewhat that feel. Maybe it's the full flat grind and the black wash, but this is good for sure. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. I didn't mean to bring in the Civivi knives, but I think it's just so relevant. It's just so relevant to the conversation 
because we need to know, I mean, why buy this over that? And I think that these actually have a reason. They can, I could see it, right? I can see the reason for these over, say, these. That's one of the first times where that's happened, and that's pretty notable. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll talk again soon.